uh, high current devices in a car don't run their power through an actual uh, uh, button, but the button powers a relay that allows that high current to run to the device, and the headlights work that same way. Uh, in the Lotus, the relays that run the headlights are somewhat problematic. In my case, uh, I replaced the headlight bulb and the headlights still don't come on. So what that means is that uh, the relay is actually the, the thing that's not uh, working. Uh, the, the relay for the headlights all reside in a box that sits behind the uh, gauge cluster. So the next step is to uh, pull the gauge cluster, uh, take the gauge hood off, remove the gauge cluster, and remove that box. Then I'll open the box and replace the relays. So that will be the next step. I'm going to go through the process of uh, removing the gauge cluster on the Elise and uh, to get to the uh, relay box which controls the headlights and the parking lights and, and some other stuff. So um, the first step is to remove the uh, coverings uh, around the console. First step is to remove the lower part of the console, so... So there's two screws in front of the indicators on both sides and two on two behind. Um, the ones in front are flat, flat uh, head, and the ones behind are pan, rounded. The ones behind are a little bit longer than the flatheads that are in front. All of these screws are different, so make sure and keep the correct screw uh, uh, or the correct screws organized. So, here's the little um, tab on the, the trip odometer, and that guy, all you do is you pull up on this little tab with, you need a really small screwdriver, and then you can uh, disconnect. There is this, this ring that goes around the uh, ignition uh, key, uh, and that you got to take off before you remove the lower console. And then, this little guy comes up and out. 
um, getting getting this back together, make sure that the uh, rubber covers on the stocks are in the right place. They have a little groove on them, and you got to make sure that goes in the right place. Okay. Um, next step is the the uh, cowl, and the cowl is held on just with clips, but it, there's a piece of Velcro at the back, so you got to pull the Velcro up and release that and at the same time pull forward and the um, cowl will come off. Next step to removing the um, gauge cluster is four, four screws. So this one, this one, this one, and this guy. screws are out and now we have to unplug the connectors at the back of the gauge cluster. So now you're looking through the windshield at the gauge cluster. Okay. There we go. So luckily for me, the clip from the hood, which was this clip, fell down into this little space uh, under here, so it was really easy to get to. Okay, I'm not done. So the relay box is uh, this box that sits right in the hole left by the gauge cluster. So, um, two screws, one here, one here, and then there's a connector. 